Hello, my name is Wangari the Storyteller. And my name is Subira Joy. Today, we'd like to read for you one of our favorite storybooks. And the book has the title, Small Brown Dog's Bad Remembering Day. It is written by Mike Gibby and Barbara Nasimbeni. It is about a dog who has a really bad day remembering things. He can't remember what he eats for breakfast. He can't remember which side of the bed he gets out of. And worst of all, he cannot even remember his own name. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Small brown dog was having a really bad remembering day. He couldn't remember what side to get out of bed. He couldn't remember what he liked for breakfast. Worst of all, he couldn't remember his name. If only I could find my collar, that would tell me my name, he said. But he couldn't remember where he had left it, could he? No. He looked high and low for it, but he couldn't find it anywhere in his kennel. So he ran outside. And very nearly ran in to test the terrier, delivering the post. Help test! I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Tess, are a small brown dog with a pink wet nose. But I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything else? Asked the small brown dog. Tess thought hard. You like splashing in puddles. You are right, said the small brown dog, and off he said to find some. And here he is, looking for some puddles that he can splash in. Okay. He was splashing down the street when he saw Dan the Dalmatian. Help Dan, I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Dan, are a small brown dog with a wet pink nose. Who likes splashing in? My puddle. But I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything else? said the small brown dog. Dan thought hard. You are always chasing squirrels. <gasps> you are right, said the small brown dog. And he set off for the park. Mm -hmm. And here you can see him at the park. Yeah. At the park, he ran into Bobby the Bulldog. Help, Bobby! I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Bobby, are a small brown dog with a pink nose who likes splashing in my bottle and is always chasing squirrel. But I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything else? Asked the small brown dog. Bobby thought hard. You've got a bad case of fleas. <laughs> you are right, said the small brown dog. And he hurried off, scratching and scratching and scratching and scratching. <laughs> He went over the road and into the hairdressers, where he saw Peaches the Poodle. Help, Peaches! 
I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You said peaches are small Blah, with a pink nose who likes splashing in Very bad. and is always chasing really. and has a bad case of fleas. But I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything else? Asked the small brown dog. Peaches thought hard. <gasps> you can't resist hot dogs. You are right, said the small brown dog. And he remembered that he was hungry. Alright, and you can see him. You can see a very, very big hot dog there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. He turned the corner into the square where he saw Sid, the sausage dog. Hmm. Help, Sid. I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Sid, are a small... Brown dog with a pink wet nose who likes splashing in muddy puddles and it's always chasing squirrel has a bad case of fleas and can't resist hot, hot dogs. But I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything, anything else? Ask the small brown dog. Sid thought hard. <gasps> you bury bones in the sand. <gasps> You're right, said the small brown dog. And he set off to dig one up. Do you like eating bones? What do you like eating? I like eating sausages. And chips. Mm. Okay. He went across the square and into the building site where he saw Ralph the Rottweiler. Help, Ralph! I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Ralph, are a small brown dog with a big wet nose who likes splashing in. Mary Paul. And he's always splash and it's always chasing. Zero. Has a bad case of flitch. And cannot resist. Hot, Hot dog. dog. And Barry's bones in the sand. But I don't remember your name. Can't Can you remember anything else? Asked the small brown dog. Ralph thought hard. You blow a big, shiny trumpet. You are right, said the small brown dog. And he set off to join his band. He went over the hill and into the park, where he saw Charlie the Chihuahua. Help, Charlie. I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Charlie, are a small brown dog with a pink nose who likes splashing in puddles, is always chasing squirrels, has a bad case of fleas, can't resist hot dogs, buries bones in the sun, and blows a big shiny trumpet. But I don't know your name. I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything, anything else? else? Asked the small brown dog. Charlie thought hard. You are always losing your collar. I know that, said the small brown dog. But where can I find it? You could try the police station, said Charlie. 
You're right, said the small brown dog, and he set off to do just that. He ran back through the park, over the road, up the street, into the police station, where Alf the Alsatian was standing behind the desk. Help, Alf, I've lost my collar and... It is, said Roger, say, here it is, said Alf. Roger the Retriever brought it in this morning. At last I remember, said the small brown dog. I'm a small brown dog with a pink wet nose who likes splashing in my ball. Is always chasing squirrel. Has a bad case of meat. Can't resist. Hot dog. Barry's bones in the sand. <gasps> Blows a big shiny trumpet. And it's always losing this corner. And my name is. Can you read us the name? Patch. And my name is Patch. Patch. We hope you enjoyed the story. Until next time. Bye. Bye.